Hi everybody, welcome to Coffee Table Talks. Mmm, that's good. I'm Pastor John Bell and this is part two of a segment that we're doing called What's So Great About the Bible? In Psalm 119, 162, it says, I rejoice at your word as one who finds great treasure. And so what's so great about the Bible? So we, we pointed out that the Bible is separate and distinct um, from all other uh, books, all other guides. And the Bible is not something to just be added into uh, a bunch of other type of works. The Bible is the standard. It is the authority. It is the word of God and is sufficient in and of itself for all of our needs. And uh, I'm just so thankful over the years that um, God has shown and proven uh, how faithful and how good his word is. So uh, I want to talk about a few more things. What's so great about the Bible? So number one for this segment is stability. The Bible uh, building our life on the Word of God, the truth of the Word of God, means that our life will be stable. We'll, we're not, we won't be tossed to and fro by all winds of doctrine and all fads and all things that um, come with the changing of society, but we'll be stable, that our life will be built on something that is true, that won't fade away, that will um, not change that won't disappoint us. Remember, this is from a, a God that is timeless, that is outside of time. And he's written this book to give us this wisdom for our day, for each day. And so it brings about a stability. The second thing is uh, the word of God brings us peace. Uh, what, a, what an amazing thing. How priceless is peace. And so as we uh, have our minds um, built around the truth of God's word, we understand as God's children, when we receive him as a Lord and Savior, we understand how things are working and why things are working. We understand that uh, in this world, Jesus said we'll have tribulation, but we can be of good cheer because Jesus has overcome this world. As we become stable in the truths of God's word and be uh, rooted and grounded in the things of God's word, uh, we become like what the Bible says, a tree planted beside waters in uh, Psalm 1. In Jeremiah 17, it talks about a tree flourishing in times of difficulty. And that's what happens to those who build their life on the Word of God. And then the next thing is that we have hope. The Word of God gives us hope. What an amazing thing. And we're not talking about we hope something happens or wishful thinking. We're talking about uh, something that is really rooted and grounded in something uh, substantial. We're talking about hope that does not disappoint because our hope is in something that doesn't change. It's in Jesus Christ. When, when we read the word, we have hope because we know our future is great. We know that uh, nothing can befall us or come to us that God doesn't allow for his good in our life. So as we, we read the Bible, we're given this hope that um, gives us a, a reason to keep going and give us a, a joyful countenance and a joyful, established heart that, you know what, we, we have hope in Christ. It's going to be okay. It's going to be amazing. It's going to be good. Uh, another point that I'd like to make is what makes um, the Bible so great is love. The Bible is this great love story. It explains God's love for us. It explains God's goodness, his uh, tender mercies to, towards us. Ultimately, the fulfillment of his love at the cross where J Jesus died for our sins. But the, the whole Bible is, is, is God's love letter to say, you know, I love you and I care about you. And here's what I'm going to do for you. And here's how um, I work to show you my love. And so as we read God's word, we know the love of Christ, which, which passes knowledge. And then the last thing I'd like to point out is the, the Bible is the most relevant thing that there ever is. The, the things, um, like we said, things come and go. But the thought that the Bible is old fashioned is completely ridiculous because uh, the Bible says the grass withers and the flower fades away, but God's word will endure forever. Uh, Matthew, uh, and, and Matthew, Jesus 
even, even says that heaven and earth will pass away, but God's word will endure forever. God's word is outside of time. It's timeless. It's relevant. It's the most relevant thing to today. And so um, to be uh, following the word, following him is, is to have knowledge and relevancy in our day and know that we can have something that's not going to be a fad or not something that we're going to be looking back at someday and say, that was ridiculous. That was so dumb. I don't know why I followed that, but the word of God is completely outside of time. It will last and be sustained forever. It does not need to be improved on or perfected. It is in and of itself sufficient for all we need and it's timeless. So God bless you guys. Get into the word, build your life on the word, and you'll never be sorry and never regret it.